In this lecture, we will talk about what is scamper. Scamper is a very simple technique that can be used to spark creativity instantly and almost in any situation. The term scamper was coined by Robert Ebrell, an educational administrator. He is very well known for his work as an educationalist, particularly focusing on the creativity of children and teachers. Robert devised the concept of scamper from Alex Oxburn's 83 questions for triggering creativity during brainstorming. In case you don't know who is Alex Osborne, he is the father of brainstorming. Now we will talk about what SCAMPER is. SCAMPER is an acronym where S stands for simplify or substitute. This is the first principle of SCAMPER. In this principle, we consider and see how we can simplify or substitute the resources such as the components, material, people, etc. The next principle or the next letter is C which stands for combine. In this principle, we see how we can integrate or we can mix one element with the other, usually similar ones or dissimilar ones. The third element A stands for adapt. Here we talk about how we can adapt or we can alter the given function of an element. As we move forward, I'm going to take examples and cover all this in detail, but now I'm just trying to give you an intro. So we have done S, C and A. Now we will move on to M. M represents modify. Usually we also associate magnify or minimize with modify. P represents putting things to a different use. This is a very interesting principle of SCAMPER where we try to see how a particular element can be used in a different environment or for a different objective. The last but one principle E stands for eliminate. This is about how we can eliminate the resources altogether or eliminate a particular element altogether. The last principle is reverse or rearrange. In this principle, we consider how turning inside out or putting upside down a particular process, system or even a practice can give drastic improvement. So we talked about substitute or simplify, we talked about Combine, we talked about adapt, we talked about modify, we talked about putting something to a different use, we talked about eliminate and lastly we talked about reverse or rearrange. We will again go back as I mentioned and cover this in greater detail. But for now, the concept of scamper might look very obvious to you or even silly and you might think that should I actually do a course to apply this principle. But I can assure you that in real life scenarios or situations, when we are starving for ideas, we never consider these options or we even don't focus our thinking on these lines. Usually, whenever we need ideas, we try to think hard and harder and that leads only to exhaustion. So as we progress, we will get a chance to understand the real life benefits of scamper and we have a lot of examples that we are going to apply as we move forward. And believe me, this can be a great tool. And believe me, this can be a great tool to trigger productivity in your team or even at home with your kids. With that, I'm going to wrap up this lecture. In the next, we're going to talk about how we prepare ourselves for applying Scamper in a given scenario. Thank you.